You have to hand it to OnePlus when it comes to creating hype for their upcoming devices. Just a few months after releasing the OnePlus 5T, the brand announced its successor. Hey guys, Louis here of Yugatech and today we're unboxing and doing a quick hands-on of the OnePlus 6. Like any OnePlus device, the packaging is quite simple. We have the unit itself, rounded charging cable, and adapter which is similar with the previous OnePlus 5T. Interestingly, inside this red box, they included a semi-translucent case along with some paperwork. OnePlus has maintained their signature trait with the OnePlus 6, that is delivering the best hardware but with a very competitive price. Before we dive, here are the specs. A Snapdragon 845 CPU, Adreno 630 GPU, and 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. The one we have here is the 6 gigabytes variant. There's also a 6.28 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display, a 3330 milliamp hour battery, and a dual camera consisting of a 16 megapixel main shooter with OIS and EIS, and a secondary 20 megapixel telephoto lens. Both have a Sony sensor with the same f1.7 aperture. As what we've seen in the specs, OnePlus nailed it in terms of hardware power. This year, OnePlus wanted to make it big and decided to change their overall design. One of the obvious changes in the OnePlus 6 is the placement of the rear cameras in the fingerprint sensor. They're now located at the center of the device for a symmetrical feel. They still maintain that smooth rounded top and bottom corners and the gently curved back for a better grip. Both the front and back are now protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 for extra protection, but don't expect it to withstand severe drops. Good thing OnePlus included the protective case in the package. The alert slider is still present alongside with a power button on the right, while on the left, uh, there's the SIM tray and volume rocker. These buttons have good tactile feedback, they are clicky, and actually sounds nice. The front is now almost all screen, which looks cleaner and gives you a feeling that you have more space to navigate so which is more immersive you can still navigate the ui with the traditional keys but you can change it inside settings and go with the gesture it has the same concept as the iphone 10 so swiping up from the center will jump to the home screen and swiping from the right will be like exiting from the app and swiping up and hold will trigger the recent apps you see that notch? OnePlus has also joined the notch club. But don't worry, you can still hide it. You just need to access the settings and switch a toggle and it will hide the notch for you. That notch houses the earpiece, the sensors, and the 16 megapixel selfie camera. It also has the face unlock feature, which is very impressive. It is very responsive as it unlocks our device almost instantaneously, which is impressive. Going to the cameras, if you like shooting videos, you'll be glad to know that the OnePlus 6 can record at 4K resolution at 60fps. It can also shoot slow motion at 480fps but only at 720p resolution. But don't worry, the quality is still good. But take note that the slow motion feature is not available out of the box. So you have to download it so it would appear in the camera app. Given the rear camera specs, we expect the OnePlus 6 to capture great images. Based on our initial testing, exposures are well maintained details are well preserved and color reproduction and accuracy is just about right. Of course, this is just our initial testing so we'll uh, know more once we do a full review of the cameras. The OnePlus 6 runs on Oxygen OS 5.1 on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. If you've been an avid user of OnePlus devices, then the operating system will feel right at home. Despite being a customized OS, the whole interface feels like vanilla Android. It has a very simple and straightforward UI, plenty of customization features, no blot wires, and it's fluid and smooth all throughout. Based on what we've seen so far, the OnePlus 6 looks like it can live up to its own height. It's a device worthy of being called flagship or maybe even another true flagship killer. It's one of the most affordable devices sporting Qualcomm's flagship chipset and it's no slouch either when it comes to photography and other trending features. But then again, we'll know more when we test it further in our full 
review. All right, the OnePlus 6 is now available in select digital Walker stores nationwide. It starts with a 6 gigabytes plus 64 gigabyte storage variant at 3,990 pesos, while the higher 8 gigabytes plus 128 gigabyte storage has a price tag of 33,990 pesos. There is also a 256 gigabyte storage model at a higher 37,490 pesos. And that's about it with the OnePlus 6. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. Again, this is Louie of Yucatec and we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for a full review of the OnePlus 6.